what's up? Welcome to your third normal form. So, third normal form. In order to get there, you have to first do first normal form and second normal form. So it's kind of like a ladder. You can't just start a third normal form. You have to work your way up there. So this one deals with what's known as a transitive dependency, which is when a column depends upon a column which depends upon the primary key. So I know that's kind of like confusing, so let me just kind of draw it out in a table It'll make a lot more sense. So here we have a review table, as you can see. I'm kidding, you can't see. It's just a square. So we could say review. So like this could be on a website. It could be, you know, like a, a shopping website where you review a product, or it can be a review on a video or anything really. It could be a review on a book. Most likely it'll be on a shopping website where you buy something, whether it be a book or anything or cars or whatever. It doesn't matter. But in this you would have something like a review ID, obviously, which will be the uh, primary key. You would also likely have what that review is, like in a text form, so like a comment. So you would have the actual review. And then you would have maybe a star rating or multiple star ratings. So you could have a star rating. So maybe one through five, one being the worst, five being awesome, and then four maybe being like really sort of okay, you know. And then we might have something that has a star, a star meaning. So that would be like, oh, sort of okay, right? And finally, we might have something like either a user or the poster. I'll just put the user because likely you will have some kind of user account on this website where you can post comments. So this will likely be a user ID, and it will be a foreign key to a user table. But we're not going to put that in here right now because that's unrelated to the actual point. So foreign key, primary key. Now, let's look at right here. We have an issue. This is what's known as a transitive dependency because the star meaning depends upon the star. And a way you can kind of try to figure out if it depends on it is, okay, well, if we change the star, is the star meaning going to change? Well, if we take the star and we change it from a 4 to a 3, it might go from it might go from really super okay to really average. So the star meaning is going to change. So that's a dependency. But then the star actually depends upon the actual review ID. Because if you change the actual review, the star is able to change. So this is known as a transitive dependency and it is bad. Now you can also have a multiple transitive dependency, which I don't even know what those are called. But that would be where a column depends upon a column, which depends upon a column, which depends upon a column, which depends upon the actual primary key. It can go on forever for as long as you want. But you don't want it because it's bad, which is why we're going to remove it. So to remove this, you take the columns that are causing a problem, you move them to a separate table, and then you create a foreign key in replace of them, which references the actual other column. So let's do this. So since these columns right here are the ones causing the main problem, we take them, we put them in their own table. We have a star table. Within the star table, we're going to have a star ID. And then we're going to have the actual star, whether it be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, or whatever kind of rating system you're using. And then we're going to have the star meaning. And then over here, we're going to replace these columns. Let me make this a little prettier. And I just made it five times worse. <laughs> but we're going to replace that with a star ID, which is going to reference this table over here. So now we don't have that problem because the only column over here is star ID. We don't have the star meaning, which was the real column that was causing the problem. Now over here, we could have, if we drew out this table, we would have, you know, we could have a star ID of 3, and that star could be a, a 3 star rating, and it could be, meaning it could mean uh, average. 
Now, we're likely to only have five individual rows in this table, so it's kind of like a reference table. So over here, we could have a star ID of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It doesn't really matter what the ID is, because the ID is just a number used by the database and has no real world value. So we would have five rows in here, and then we would reference them in the reviews table. So we could have, okay, this is too ugly. Let's, let me just explain it. We could have one review with the star rating ID of five, which could correlate to a certain rating from this ratings table. That's the main idea of the third normal form, is to take those transitive dependencies, move them to a new table, create a foreign key to reference that table. So in review, first normal form is making everything atomic, second normal form is removing any partial dependencies, and then third normal form is removing any transitive dependencies. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next video where we're going over something awesome. Peace!